Hello guys, welcome back to the Top Man's Expedition Mode playthrough this time and uh, last episode you will see that we, uh, we would beat England and it was a, a very tense a very tense match, two goals in extra time, one for each of us went to penalties and I managed to beat England on penalties and now instead of playing Denmark which for some reason is the last country you unlock in Group H, I don't know why it should be Portugal in my opinion but anyway that's my opinion we're going to play Portugal. Four and a half star Portugal. And uh, very quickly here, I've actually got to change my settings back to professional because, of course, I had to go through um, what was it, Iceland, I think, first before I actually got to Portugal again because I played Denmark last and that meant. To get back to Portugal, I had to play somebody else that was closer road-wise, which is ridiculous, to be quite honest. It's fucking annoying. But here we are, playing uh, Portugal. It is Portugal's turn. And uh, I'm slightly off of my camera there, but uh, just sorting it out now. This really could go While they go and score, of course. Very difficult to predict what's going to happen here because these two teams are very evenly matched. There we are. Right. The funny thing is that when the uh, computer faces off against itself, so basically if I'm controlling a midfield player and not doing anything, um, the computer will, they won't know what to do. They can't play against themselves. The computer can never seem to play against themselves because they always cancel each other out with their clairvoyancy skills. Well, I'm a lot faster than they are. Hig. Why did he hit it with his left when I asked him to do a finesse shot? Why the fuck would he hit it with his left? It is raining, which is never good. I hate the rain on this game. Didn't look where he was passing it, did he? What? There's no way that came off me last. I love how then Mergu just went straight off and just didn't even bother to try and come back to the ball that was actually bobbling around in the air. Diego Almeida, Raul Morelles. Downey. To Haig. Fuck off. How did they manage to just take the ball off you like that? Come on. Miguel Veloso. Did I manage to win that? I think so. Oh, it was them that actually won the fucking ball. What a surprise there. Downey to Havac. Wrong person, that. And they still managed to win the ball, even though he was steaming through behind me. How the fuck is this possible? It's Hugo Almeida and uh, Jovanovic there doing his job as defensive duties. Captain De Vere. Peg. Mergu. Fucking Mergu. Is anybody getting any decent places, please? Mergu still. What a fine pass! Just turned two defenders there, the third one came across to try and uh, block the shot but it was a finesse shot and it took it straight around him and uh, beat three defenders with one ball there. I don't know where Yabby Martinez is off because this is his job. Bullshit. Can't you see where the ball is going? I was right there for that bullshit as well. Here's Havac, goal scorer. Legend that is. I don't think so. I think that'll be the last chance saloon for him. I'm afraid any more of that and he'll get a yellow card. Yavi Martinez again. Downing. They seem to have switched positions for some reason. Havac. Mergu! Why did he hit it with his right foot? Come on! It's easier to hit it with your left. And it's more accurate. Why the fuck would they do that? 
Downing. Pig. Everyone in this team is looking to this is a go out to the Boucher. Nice Boucher whips it in towards Haig, but Haig's never won a header in his life, and it's not going to happen now. No, Yavi Martinez running back for this ball, I don't know why, but he's facing off against uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, is he not? Does he go out? I don't know who he's passing to there, but that's not the person I was aiming at. And of course, the standing tackle there. Always just goes straight out, and they always whack it miles away. And uh, my players can never seem to stand on the feet properly either. They've got ridiculous fucking balance of all my players. We go for a header, nah, they'll end up on the floor. Routinho. Mergu. It's against Pepe here. And of course, Pepe's got more pace than, uh, than Mergu. Because that's what the stats say. Miguel Veloso. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Look at him trying all these bastard skills. Well, they ain't gonna fucking work. How the fuck has he managed to win that? He was behind me, for fuck's sake. Yavi Martinez. Half time is a slender 1 0 lead going into the second half. Courtesy of Marco Hlavac. And here it is. Did two defenders there, the third one came across, but still not enough, and that was a good curling effort, that. Apparently it wasn't on target. Work that one out. <laughs> what the fuck was that? The shot was not on target. Are you shitting me? Is this something I don't know? What? So I scored with a goal with absolutely no deflections, and it wasn't on target. How was that possible? FIFA fucking up again there, EA Sports, lovely job that you've done with this game. I just wish one time you'd actually uh, get some kind of, of a bug testing team or maybe something like that, but no, of course, that's too much money for you guys. Too much money. You can't be asked to do shit like that to make the game better. No, it's just not good enough. They don't care as long as it gets sold. That was not what I did. Yeah, as long as EA Sports get their fucking hand in, in uh, as long as we get our hand in our pockets for EA Sports, they will continue to bring out shit. And nobody's ever going to say any different because guess why? Nobody else does a decent football game. This is decent, but it could be a lot better. Let's face it, it could. The amount of bugs and shit that are in this game is just fucking sick. I know that means a good kind of sick either. Good play. Fuck off. Cristiano Ronaldo. Clearance off the line there. Cristiano Ronaldo trying to be cheap. And uh, doing the little tricks and shit. Downing. Is he offside? It looked like it to me, but he's not. Whips it in. Mergu! How the fuck's he managed to no, sky that shit? The amount of goals he scored for me and he skies something as simple as a tapping. Chiellini, who can't win a header to save his life. That's how shit this game is at headers. Chiellini can't win headers. Turns, shoots, scores. And that's his second of the game, Michael Havac. If you ever get that guy in yours, in your expedition mode, the guy is a beast. Do not get rid of him unless you get somebody that's absolutely brilliant. The guy is amazing as Michael Havac. And it's good in real life as, um, what's his first... Marek Hamšík, that's him. He's a great player in real life as well. Moutinho. Asking for trouble when you lose the ball like that. Zhigoev. Mergu this time taking it round Pepe, but of course look at Pepe run. This is ridiculous, this is fucking stupid. Oh yeah, and then sticks a foot in just as I'm crossing it. Typical FIFA for you there. 
as you go in. Shoots, that's a fucking crap shot. He never shoots like that for me when I'm, uh, you know, in between videos and shit. He never shoots like that. So he's got a good look. Look at this bullshit. Why is he going to ground? Why has he suddenly lost the use of his legs? Look, why is he doing this? Is this Chiellini as well? Is Chiellini? Why is he going to ground? Why does he just lose all fucking thought of where his legs are? I don't understand. No defender in their right mind would do that. And it's the same all the time with every single defender. Chiellini, one of the best ones in the world. He doesn't want to lose the ball there. Still does it. I'm sorry, but if he does that in the Premier League, you will be fucking punished. And in the Euros, to be honest. Oh, and Pepe there. Just fucking brushing aside, my guy. Pepe. Shame that the fucking same of rule does not apply to the computer. That's what annoys me. It would be okay. I would be able to stand it. And I wouldn't get so angry about it if the same rule applied to the computer. But it never does. Good shot, but it is wide. That's a very good effort, and they've nearly caught the goalie out. Look at Raul Morelos. It's nothing like Raul Morelos. Chiellini. Oh, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo has him covered there. He wanted that ball. He was going to Still Chiellini is going for it here. Where oh. are... Ivanovic. Zhigoev. Debouche. Yappy Martinez. Mergu. Gets it right over the top towards uh, Haig. But, no, Bruno Alves is there. Somehow still managed to end up with the ball as well. I was there for that. Defended his flank well there. That's the end of the match. That's it. Finished. 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 I think if you're looking and, for uh, it is Hag FC 2, Portugal nil. Let's see who we get for our troubles. A very frustrating match again with some of the bullshit that happens in FIFA. But that is FIFA and I've just got to get used to it. Here we are. Portugal is at my feet. There's the 3 of 3 and the player we've got is Fabio Coentrao. A left back that's actually better than uh, Cap de Villa. So... Let's uh, get rid of Rodriguez first, and then switch around Coentrao with Cap de Villa. So get in there, we've nearly got a full green squad here, apart from Debouche. We'll see in future episodes whether or not we can get a decent right back. But until then guys, I have been the tough man and as always, stay safe.